Hello, music lovers and my friend. It is Perez Hilton, and this is going to be one of the best music reaction videos I've made in a long time for many reasons. First, I'm wearing my very special vintage Peaches t-shirt that I had made for her concert in 2002, the same one where she and I made out. That's for another time. Secondly, not only am I gonna to react to the new Billie Eilish song, I'm gonna make a big prediction and also give you guys some analysis about her music and what I think we're gonna get out of this song before even hearing it. So, this is a brand new Billie Eilish song. It's not on her album. That leads me to believe that her label thought there weren't any more radio songs off the album. So they put her in the lab with her brother and tried to come up with another bad guy, which bad guy kind of just happened. I honestly never thought that Billy was gonna be a radio artist. She didn't need radio. She got it and bad guy was a massive hit. Trying to chase that again though, could dilute her greatness, could give us a not so awesome song. So I'm expecting something commercial. But honestly, I love, I love everything she's put out because I always listened to it from a filter of not expecting it to be on the radio. I was on to Ocean Eyes, I think the week she released that song. Somebody took me off to it and I posted it right away. I had been a day one fan and it's been phenomenal, beautiful, inspiring to see her ascent. And here's my big prediction. She's gonna win album of the year, the Grammys. She has no competition. Taylor Swift will probably get a nomination, but Billie Eilish is going to win. Sonically, that album was so cohesive. She's impacted so many up and coming musicians. So many others are trying to copy Billie Eilish now. She impacted culture, young girls, and even boys dressing like her. It's Billie's world and Lizzo's. I mean, there's a possibility Lizzo could win album of the year, but knowing the Grammy voting pool like I do, even though it's gotten hipper, cooler, younger recently, I think the odds are in favor of Billy winning, but I'd love it just as much if Lizzo went, won. Wham. Because <laughs> she's phenomenally talented and had an amazing year and that album is great. So let us listen to this song. I don't think there's a music video. It's called Everything I Wanted. And of course, it's in all lowercase letters. That's her thing. I think it's just the audio. All right, go in here. Number one on trending on YouTube. So that's a good sign. Oh, as a bonus, before I get to the Billy, Taylor Swift also released a new version of Lover with Shawn Mendes. And a lot of Swifties did not like it, mainly because Shawn added new lyrics, talking about Camila Cabello, and some hardcore Taylor fans thought that his lyrics were weak. Frankly, I wasn't even paying attention to Shawn's lyrics. I just wanted to see how he sounded. And I only listened to it once, I'm very honest. And that one time I thought he sounded great. I liked it, it was cute. So those are my thoughts on that. Now let's go listen to Billie Eilish. Everything I wanted. Okay, I'm so nervous. Well, it doesn't sound like a radio single thus far. And if it's not, then why release it now? Hmm. Very autobiographical. Hmm. 
I'm really sucked into what she's saying. She's dating somebody? It's a love song, that's a surprise. Maybe that's why she released it, because she wanted to. It wasn't a label thing, maybe. This will be great with remixes at the gay club. I mean, everything she does is so tasteful, so cool. And her vocals. Like you can't, you can't not like this. I really like it. I don't see it doing well on the radio, but I don't care. Maybe it'll do well on the radio. She's that big. I love the production. I love her voice. I had everything I wanted. It's so Billy to be sad even when she's happy. <laughs> I think she's happy, but this is like a sad song almost. My Nick San Pedro painting. I have to do something before we end, okay? Don't go. I also like that she's bucking the trend. The trend in this day and age is to have songs that are really short. And this is four minutes and six seconds. And I don't want it to end. I'm loving it. Yay! I really like it. I would even say I love it. I mean, I like that it's different. I mean, it's actually, and you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is in a second. But first, I need to give a shout out to some very, 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 very special members of my fam. Steph Gambino, Michelle Lay, Zen Garden, Eric Sims. Eric. Aliska Gray, Linz Ryan, Nameless Two, and Kylie Kincaid. Thank you guys for super chatting me. You are super califragilisticexpialidocious. You are fram forever and ever and ever and after I'm gone. Hopefully, you'll still be around. No, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how old you all are, but um, <laughs> we'll be together forever, having fun. I love you, Kylie Kincaid, Nameless 2, Linz Ryan, Aliska Gray, Eric Sims, Zen Garden, Michelle Lay, and Steph Gambino. Oh, and Ida. Ida joined TikTok for me. Thank you for that, Ida. I am loving TikTok. Okay, you know what this Billy song is? I think it is a bridge to her next album, which I think will be a little bit happier. Um, this was happier, but still kind of, 
I wouldn't be surprised if the next Billy album was like a rager, like dance, like, but like, but like, um, unexpected dance, like not, not commercial dance. Like who would she work with? I don't know. Like, um, somebody really cool. Like, um, I don't even know. I, I'm not, I, I'm not. I don't want to say a name and then regret saying it, but like really cool dance, not commercial dance. I mean, commercial, but just cool, like in her vibe, but a more a dancey thing, like a just like she's growing up. Like that's what kids do around that age. It's still kind of being authentic to who she is and evolving and moving and growing and being being her awesome self and future Grammy album of the year winner. Um, if you liked that song, you guys really should download the Phineas EP. There's so many great songs on there. I would say my two favorite are I Lost a Friend and Shelter. <sighs> Those two songs have been on heavy rotation for me recently. Phineas, that's Billie Eilish's brother and collaborator. His EP and the two songs that are standout tracks are I Lost a Friend and... Shelter. They're so good. I love sharing music. I love talking about music. It, it, it means so much to me that people watch these videos. Uh, so thank you, my fellow music lovers. You are superstars. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so that we can live chat. I live chat during every video that I upload for the premiere. That is me chatting in the chat box. If you want a super chat, all you have to do is make sure you're watching live. To do that, you have to turn the notifications on. In the bottom of the chat box, hit the dollar icon and I ask kindly and humbly every single person who watches my videos regularly if they could give just $1 a month, if they can and want. That would be amazing. Some of you give more than that and you are all stars, gold. You are angels to me and my family. So thank you. Make sure you're following my family personal channel, The Perez Hilton, Perez Hilton and Family. Sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Listen to my podcast, The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. Get a personalized video greeting from me on the Starsona app or directly at Starsona.com slash Perez Hilton. Share this video Follow me across social media. I'm everywhere from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and TikTok and Snapchat. Leave a comment and like. Comment below, not just in the chat box, and like. I like you.